Hello, hello, and good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world, come on in. We're going to be making a taco pizza. You can do this with beef, you can do it with beans, you, we're going to do this with chicken, okay? I saw this on Taco Bell, and I was like, oh, I can make that, but I can make it healthier, okay? So we're going to do uh, chicken breasts, which I have these. It's already cut up. It's supposed to be chicken strips, but it's a little tiny piece. It's perfect because I was going to chop it up anyway. So we're going to uh, start our stove, and I'm going to be using my pan. Yeah, my pan doesn't have a handle because the handles are removable, and... Uh, it doesn't get in the way so and it's easy for storage so this one handle fits this pan here also okay like that so they are easy for stacking great for stacking you put it in your small cabinet ready to go all right so those are my pans i'm going to be putting my pizza one in this we're going to keep cooking up the chicken in the bigger one so we'll put the handle on that one let's turn on our stove Put it on medium, medium high. Wait for three to five minutes, and then we're gonna add our chicken. All right. So uh, in the meantime, we're gonna put a little bit of oil in it, and we're gonna going to saute up or grill up, whatever you want to do it. We're gonna just to put in our chicken and cook it up. All right. That's gonna be the longest part to do it. Now I need to get some oil out of this nice little oil dispenser. You can put olive oil in here, avocado oil, which is what's in here because it's better to cook with avocado oil than it is with olive oil because it has a higher temperature or smoke point. So we're going to put some in there and I got a little piece of there. Just put a little bit in and about two, about teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I'm not doing too much oil on there. And we're going to get our pan nice and hot and then we're going to saute up our chicken. I'm going to be adding in some taco seasonings. Now you can get the stuff out of the packet or you can uh, do, make your own. And I have my little make my own here and I, we are not reversed yet. So, oh yeah, yeah, hold on. We got to enhance, enhance and flip the camera. So, oh, not, not flip the camera, Alexis. There, hi, I'm back. Mirror image is on. Mirror, in. I don't know if this is left or right. All right, so anyway, we're gonna put this in um, the my link on TikTok and it'll probably be uploaded to the shorts on YouTube and in my Facebook group, all right? So we got it all in here. I made my own. I made my own because you know what? There's no artificial nothing in here. Uh, we used all whole seasonings and stuff like that, which is great to make your own rather than putting all that, you know, caking stuff and, you know, fillers and stuff. So my pan is getting nice and hot. We're just going to wish machine around the oil so it all gets coated, all right? And we're going to dump our chicken in here. But before we dump it in, we're going to get one little tiny piece and put it in there. Hello, Siren. Hey, hello, Tracy. Thanks for coming in. So I'm going to get one little piece. Can I put one little piece of chicken, like a little tiny piece in it's sizzling, all right? Let's wash our hands because we don't need to have that chicken on there. And it's about 10 ounces of chicken I'm doing. I'm only doing one taco pizza, all right? So let's put this in. Here's my uh, chicken breasts all cut up. You can do it with a whole chicken breast. You can do it with ground beef. And let's spread this out, hold on. I'm using a the plate. There we go. My dog's in the kitchen right now. So 10 ounces of chicken is going in there. This is going to be so quick. You're going to say, wow, I should have done this before. And I have whatever you like on your taco. Put it in, in the comments right now. What do you like on your taco? We are going to do taco chicken. I am just putting in some, and again, this is healthy. This is Weight Watcher friendly because I'm on Weight Watchers. I am using my Orle tortillas. These are the small, soft taco tortillas. Each tortilla, each one of these is two points, so I'm going to do four points for my tortillas. We're going to be putting in some laughing cow cheese. Here we go, laughing cow cheese. Uh, it's one point for each one uh, of these laughing cows. We're going to do two of these. Put that over. Some of the other stuff that we're going to put on top, cilantro, yes, black olives. Green onion. You can cut this up beforehand. You can use leftovers from your uh, taco thing that you did before. Maybe a little bit of jalapenos and a diced tomato. So we're gonna get those up once we get this going here. Let's get a um, a spoon so we can mix this up. Uh, once the, the chicken is is cooked, I'm gonna add in the taco seasoning and just season it to your own desire. Okay. Um, I see a lot of people just put 
the taco seasoning on it rather than mixing it in. I think it blends better if you mix it on the chicken versus uh, waiting. All right, mixing it up on it. Okay, let me just try to cut this chicken up at the same time. It's all bunched together, and I want it smaller pieces. We may even want to get our our salad choppers and chop up our chicken. You can use ground chicken, you can use ground turkey, ground beef, you name it, you put it on there, all right? Hey, Candace, thank you. Mushrooms. That would be really good, Candace. I didn't have any mushrooms, although uh, next week I'm going to make a beef and mushroom soup with ground beef, okay? Beef and mushroom soup. Uh, the, the place that I work at has it has a special soup this, this weekend, and I'm like, oh, it's, a, it's my favorite soup there. I'm like, if that comes back in, eat it up. So next week I'll be coming live, show you, we'll make it together. Hey, Emmy, how are you doing? Emmy's over in Sweden, right? You're in Sweden. You're up with JB, north of JB, over in Lund. All right, so my chicken is um, nicely caramelizing and we want to flip it when the chicken, I'm going to try and get this, the chicken looks like this, okay? It's nice and golden, all right? So we're going to try and flip the chicken. Yay, here you go. And let me see if I can angle you over so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So we just got our chicken in here. And we can, we're can sauteing it up. All right. Just get it. So we're going to try and flip all this. And I'm going to get my salad choppers out because I want smaller pieces of chicken than what this is already being cooked up. All right. So let it sit. Don't be mushing your, uh, your pan because you want to get it nice and golden brown like this. If you keep on moving your pan, pan, it's steaming it, and it's not going to get that golden um, brown on your on your chicken. All right. Let me see if I get my salad choppers out. All right. You're saying salad choppers. These are pampered chef salad choppers. All the tools you see are, that I have here are available for sale. The link is in my profile, or message me and say, "Hey, how can I get that?" But normally, this is how you use this, or. Um, Normally, it's used like this, like a salad. You just chop your salad into bite-sized pieces. But we're going to turn it this way, and we're going to chop up our chicken even further using it this way. It's a lot quicker. All right. So let's see how it's coming along. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, one fell on the floor. One for the dog. Hold on. We'll get that to the dog in a sec. All right. There we go. Nice. I just have to let it sit, Alexis. Let it sit. Let it caramelize. Let me see if that one. Yeah, it still needs to sit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's nicely caramelizing. I'm turning over little pieces at a time. Yeah. Little pieces. You want to get this. This is the most important step because you want your chicken definitely cooked all the way through. And the more brown on it, the more flavor you get with it. All right. And again, same with, if it's ground chicken, do the same thing. Let's just let it sit and get nice and brown on you. Yeah. This one doesn't want to. Oh, yeah. We're looking good. Looking good. All right. Let it sit a few more minutes because we can always turn this off and we're going to get the rest of it. All right. There we go. One second. Let it sit, let it sit a few more minutes, and then we're going to add in our taco seasoning. Let me see. And, yeah. Oh, I don't want it to go too far, okay? Because now we're going to season it. We have no salt and pepper, but there's salt and pepper in here. So I'm just going to sprinkle this with some uh, taco seasoning, all right? And again, you put on as much or as little as you want, all right? And we're going to get some water. We're going to add water to this pan. Just a little bit, so it coats it and makes it more flavorful. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. It's getting flavored. This is where, if you just sprinkle the taco seasonings on your stuff, you're not getting this flavor built into the into the chicken itself. All right. There we go. And it's pretty much cooked. I'm gonna turn the stove off, and I'm gonna get my salad choppers and chop up my chicken even to a, a finer um, blend and it can you can always add more water to here too if it gets a little dry because we want to keep our chicken nice and moist all right 
and I really want to get this chicken nice and small, not quite like brown chicken, but next to it. So I'm just going to get my chicken and I'm chopping it all up. This is really good for pork also. Uh, whole pieces of chicken, you can do it all up. So we're just getting that. There. There. All right. And the chicken is done. is nice. It needs a little more water because this pan's still nice and hot and almost. I want it nice and nice and fine. But you can see how flavorful this chicken is. All right. We're going to taste it a little bit and make sure that that is the flavor that we want. We can always add more seasonings, but we really can't take it away. And let's get a little sampling spoon and taste one of our, our pieces of chicken. Let's add a little bit more. Just add a little more. There we go. I'm going to turn on my stove again. Yep. And we're going to add a little more water. Let's get it nice and hot so it steams it right up. Yeah. All right. And mix it all together. There we go. This is beautiful. So this is our chicken. It's taco chicken. And we're going to add this to our, our um, pan. Let me see. Nice, right? Now, you can save this and make more throughout the, the week or the next day or so. All right, but this is great chicken. Nice flavor on it. Now, we get it a little bit hot. I'm going to switch my pans over. There we go. And we're going to cut up the rest of it and put it together now. All right. There we go. I'm going to switch it out. Okay. Go back there. My the pan goes here. I'm going to spray my pan just with a little bit of oil. Just a little. And we're getting it nice and hot. And we're going to put our tortilla right on here. Okay. Just get your pan hot and then we're going to add our tortilla. Okay. Don't even, even need a whole lot because we're going to flip this tortilla over again. And if you don't want it, you can skip the oil. It will get hot without the oil. Just FYI. All right. And we just need to get our rest of our stuff together and let me say hello to everybody hey emmy thanks for coming in hello jack how are you doing tap parts and share out all right that's uh share to three of your your thing is that olive oil yeah that was olive oil now this one this one is avocado oil this one's avocado oil and i have my olive oil in this one yeah, I got two different spritzers. This is the old one. This is the new one. The new one spreads a little bit more. This is more of a drizzle. But I have them in two different containers because I, I like to spray salad with olive oil, but I like to cook with avocado oil. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And all the, the new one is available for sale, not the old one. So is a container from Amazon. No, all, my, uh, all the tools that you see here that I use are Pampered Chef. I'm a Pampered Chef consultant. The link is in my profile. The The catalog is in there. Uh, you can join my VIP group there. I usually post all this over in the VIP and also download and upload it over to YouTube also. So now the, everything you see here, everything in the bowls, the pots, the pans. All right, so I'm gonna put this in. It's gonna get nice and hot. And we are uh, putting our taco pizza together. We're gonna um, get this nice and grilled. It's gonna get nice and brown on it and we're gonna flip it over and then do another one at the same time. So I wanna get some jalapenos and you can use the ones out of the jar, but I'm gonna try and use some fresh jalapenos on my um, pizza. All right, and slice them up nice and thin. I don't know how many I need. Let's see how hot they are. Just eat a jalapeno. Sometimes jalapenos are hot and sometimes they're not. This one's not. This one's not that hot. Okay. We can get some hot, hotter peppers. All right. There. It's gonna make it look nice and colorful. There we go. Got it. All right. Just slice them all up. We got that. And now I want to do my. Uh, tomato. We're going to do a tomato up. When you do a tomato, uh, try not to use a small knife. You can use a serrated knife because it makes it easier to cut. Okay. And we're just going to slice this right down. I probably only need half of that. And we're going to just dice this right up. 
I'm only doing one, all right, because this is myself. My mom said she already ate earlier. She had her um, um, shrimp from dinner yesterday. So I'm like, all right, I can do this for me. All right, so we just want to put this right on top of our pizza. And you see it's bubbling up right here. We're going to flip this over because you're going to see nice how nice and brown it got. While it's down there, okay, hold on a second while we're doing this. We're going to flip that over. And this will be our top layer. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to put another one in there. I'm going to brown it up also. But wait until this one gets nice and crispy. So one, I used all oil on it. You can skip the oil altogether and even make it. Uh, but the, the avocado oil and olive oil, when you use it, you should have at least two teaspoons of oil a day in order for your plumbing to, to work really well. That's old school uh, Weight Watchers. But I like to use healthy oils so it keeps my system working really good. I also like to drink a lot of water during the day. So hydration nation. Cheers everyone while we brown up our tortilla. Got it. Alright, so this should be nice and brown. You're not getting there. It's a little on the high side. I want to get it nice and crispy, okay? So, uh, what are we making? We are making uh, a tortilla pizza or a taco pizza. A taco pizza. You know how you saw uh, during the football this past weekend that uh, Taco Bell where they're doing up the pizzas? I'm making that, but I'm making it a lot healthier for you and for me. All right. So, we have a nice little, I think probably six inch little tortilla here. We're going to use two tortillas. The This one's going to be the middle one, okay? So, it's getting a little. A little too hot, but we're gonna get it. We'll get it, okay? All right. I think we're gonna make this one. Let's just make this one the, the bottom one. We'll do this the bottom part, okay? Let's keep this, let this get a little cool. Oops, I'm gonna leave that one right there. And we're gonna put another one in there and get this one nice and hot also. Because again, we're gonna use two layers. The first layer, we're gonna put in our cheese, our laughing cow cheese that we have here. And I can probably do that on this now. We'll use this side, okay? So it's not the, the best side. We're gonna get our laughing cow cheese. And we're gonna spread it. I'm not sure if I need one or two of these on the on the cheese part. And I have a offset spatula. We're gonna spread this on here. I might only need one on this one. I was thinking that I was gonna need two, but on the big one, I would need two. So this is laughing cow cheese. There we go. And it's only one, it's only one point. So put this nice, creamy, spicy cheese on it. <clears throat> it's really good. All right. This is getting nice and brown. Okay, let's see how brown it is. Ah, ah nice. Put that one down. That one's beautiful. All right. And we're gonna put this all together. We're gonna add the stuff on it. All right, a little bit more. And what else? Oh, we're gonna shred up a tiny bit of cheese, just a tiny bit of cheese, uh, so I can just look at melt it, and it looks really good with the yellow cheese. All right, there. All right that one's almost ready. We're just gonna do our cheese up just a little bit. I probably not even need to use all this. Yeah, this is gonna be more than enough. All right, I only use like maybe an ounce of cheese. So this this part is a lot of points, but it's well worth it. All right, let's put this one back. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for a second because you see how nice and brown it is? All right, that's how you want it. It's a little bit crispy. If you want to get crispier, go right ahead. Let's keep it there. Now I'm going to put this one back in. All right. And again, this one here is also um, browned on this side here. There. And now we're going to have, so we have our six inch tortilla. And it's only one point for this tortilla, one point for the laughing cow cheese. We're going to add in our chicken, which is, uh, if you're on Weight Watchers, it's zero points. All right. And I'm going to spread this out. Yep. And I spread it out really nice and even. And this is probably more meat than you got at uh, Taco Bell. So you got that. And again, I have my stove off right now, right? And you can add in whatever you want on this one here. 
if you want to add in the, um, let's do a little salsa on it. Let's do a little salsa. And I need a spoon. So this is like your pizza sauce. So we're just going to add a little bit of salsa, spread it on. There you go. Yeah. And I'll probably do a really quick demo tomorrow, um, just showing the different layers and how we add them together. Okay. That looks good. There you go. Looks great. Next one, we're going to get our next tortilla and put this one right down. All right. And this is where we're going to add in our tomatoes. All right. Tomatoes. Jalapenos. Okay. Let's get all those on. There, there, there. Right. We've got a tomato on the side here. There. More jalapenos. Um, some green all green onions. And again, this is these are all zero points that we can add into our diet. We're getting some veggies in our system. All right. And then I'm gonna add in some black olives. And again, you can add whatever you want. What would you add on here? Black beans would be really good, or refried beans. You could put on the bottom part of it. There you go. This is looking beautiful. Oh my gosh, looking good. Let's turn that one upside down. There you go. And then we're gonna put some cheese. All right, on it. And this is looking so much better than the one at Taco Bell. I'm telling you, this is looking fabulous. And we just have a little bit of cheese, but remember we have that laughing cow cheese that is nice and creamy on the bottom. And then on top, we're gonna put some cilantro. And this is our pizza. Now, if you wanna put it in the toaster oven or your air fryer, go right ahead. But this is pretty much it. Now you're gonna say, how is she gonna get that out? Well, we're gonna get it out and put it on a plate. But what do you think? Taco pizza. All right, with chicken on the bottom. Again, you can use, uh, you know, refried beans down there, uh, ground beef. Uh, I'm using chicken, grilled chicken on there that we just grilled up into little pieces on there. But this is so pretty, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see who's here. Hello, uh, Deb Hill. You can tell a true cook by the way she can touch or eat the food right out of the skillet. <laughs> you know, if y'all weren't here, I can probably eat it right out and save myself a plate. I won't have to wash it, y'all. Uh, is that uh, cow cheese? Uh, you know, this laughing cow cheese, I have no idea. All I know is I'm on Weight Watchers, and this is probably the worst thing I eat on Weight Watchers, is this laughing cow cheese. But it is this, it says it's made, it's a spreadable cheese wedge. wedge. It's the creamy, spicy pepper jack cheese made with real cheese, two grams of protein, a good source of calcium. And on the back, it does have cheddar uh, semi-soft Swiss and Monterey Jack cheeses are in here, so it's not too bad. Pasteurized milk and part skim milk cultures, salt, enzymes, whey, uh, milk protein, concentrate from water, skim milk, sodium. So not too bad. There's a uh, tricalcium, phosphorus, dehydrated green and red jalapeno peppers and citric acid and salt. Not too bad, not too bad considering that this is like spreadable cheese. And again, if you're looking to lose weight, all right, don't go to Taco Bell and get their pizza. Make it at home. Make it at home, these um, these tortillas. And they come in different flavors, too. They come in green, which is the spinach one, and they come in a sun-dried tomato. But these Olay tortilla, uh, soft tortillas, these are phenomenal. And I'll come back in maybe tomorrow, and I'll do a, a big uh, egg sandwich that I make at home using that Laughing Cow cheese. So it's cutting back or figuring out how can I make something at a restaurant at home that's gonna be healthier for me and you probably get a better portion size on it too. I use that on my, yeah, use it on your bagels, exactly, Candace. Use it on your bagels, I use it on my, in my eggs. Um, you can use it just on crackers, it's great. Uh, it has gone up in price, but what hasn't gone up in price, right? Uh, uh, is Couchy, uh, okay, I'm going back and uh, reading your co your comments here. Is a container, for, no, okay, we already got the container. Everything that I showed you is all from Pampered Chef here. Can you see uh, m and I don't know. <laughs> Can you see, I don't see m, m Hey, Kayla's cook. Uh, Kayla, I think it's Kayla, there you go. David, thanks for coming in. Tap parts, share out and follow along because I do uh, cooking yesterday, or was it yesterday or the day before? Uh, I was on here and we made, we made soup 
and I made cannellini soup and it's available over on YouTube and on my Facebook group. Uh, but we made that and I made enough for like two or three servings and we got rid of it all that night. We ate it all. Mine, I see you. I see you, Kayla. Mine. Anything is good with cow cheese. <laughs> Everything is great with cow cheese. But we have, all right, so let's get a plate out and let's see how it looks. All right. So now the whole thing is to get it out of the pot and put it in here. So we're going to need a, a spatula or a scraper or something to get it out. All right. Actually, let's just lift it up, lift it up and slide it out. There you go. And look, my pan's nice and clean, y'all. All right. So, and I have enough, uh, I have enough chicken to make one really small one tomorrow, another one tomorrow. But here is our pizza. It is a taco pizza. It has a laughing cow cheese on the bottom. We have salsa in there with chicken. And then we have all of our toppings on top. Isn't this beautiful? All right. So one, roll it up and eat it or cut it. I'm going to have to cut this. All right. Uh, phenomenal, says Candace. Thank you. Anything? Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So if you're interested in any Pamper Chef products, please follow me. Um, reach out to me saying, hey, I need some of those tools in my house because when you have the right kitchen tools, you're going to say, what pan am I going to use today? Like, I was like, what pan am I going to use today? Or what pot? You know, I love that white pot that I did the soup in. It's a cast iron, uh, enamel cast iron pot, uh, skillet. So this is so pretty, but I want to take a picture before I actually eat it because I'll post the picture up on YouTube also. All right. So, uh, let me see. So this is going to be four points for my tortillas and one point for that laughing cow cheese and probably two points for this little amount of cheese that I put on here. Everything else is zero. So four, five, six, seven. So seven points for this entire thing. And I get like 24 points a day on Weight Watchers. Okay. So. If you're interested in Weight Watchers, just reach out to me because I lost 50 pounds on it. I gained about two pounds back, but um, we're going to get down. We, we need to lose another eight pounds. Eight pounds, all right? Oh, sour cream. Yes, 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 yes. I got the sour cream. Oh, my God. I got the sour cream. Deb, I got the sour cream. I got the sour cream. And you know what? If you do the sour cream and you want to loosen it up a little bit, you can put lime in your sour cream. Put a little lime on it, and it'll be a lime uh, cream, uh, cr lime cream, okay? So... That's really good. I think I'm going to skip the sour cream or the sour cream because I don't think I want the points on this one. But yeah, the sour cream would be great. Avocados would be great. Black beans would be great. Refried beans. You name it. Whatever you put on a, on a, a taco or in a burrito, you can put on this and make it your own pizza. All right. So thanks for coming in. I'm all done. I'm going to eat my dinner. Okay. So thanks for coming in. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.